Hello there and a pleasant welcome to the national news here on Star Television Network on Channel 21 with me, Hassan Kouma. For the headline, the commander joined force at the Kokri Barks, Major General Peter Kilabahu, accompanied by the Deputy Chief of Staff, Colonel Kemosi Sey, has celebrated Christmas with one infantry battalion stationed at Bumaru, which is aimed at boosting the morale of troops stationed in such challenging terrain. I have my soldier deployed this far and uh, as a commander I think I, I have to empathize with my troops. Sinai Kamara, the head of the burial team at the Connaught Hospital Mortuary, has called on the government with the Minister of Health and Sanitation to give more support to the mortuary department of the hospital. I don't do this job since 2001 and up to now I volunteer myself for continuing for, for support the government for make sure say any possible they die in the streets as destitute I collect a account and a mortuary. When I count and a mortuary, I count them for the people that come for identify. If nobody not come for identify them, I can take an a King Tom Cemetery together with me volunteer for come back there in a mass grave. Residents at the Kube community in the central part of the town speaks to Star TV on the prevalence of malaria in their community. Because they are up and nobody are to see but right now, the majority of people in the Congo don't can't see it. Former head of Kamajo Military Forces, Augustine Atubao, who is currently serving prison sentence in Rwanda for crimes against humanity, has apologized to the people of this country for the heinous crimes perpetrated during the 11 year civil war. I wish to express my candid remorse. For the pain and trauma you people went through during the war. All these stories making the headlines for today. Those were the headlines, and now for the news in details, with me, Hassan Kouma. The commander joined force at the Kokri Barks, Major General Peter K. Lavahu, accompanied by the Deputy Chief of Staff, Colonel Kemal Sisei, has celebrated Christmas with one infantry battalion stationed at Bumaru. This visit by the commander joined force and the Deputy Chief of Staff is aimed at boosting the morale of troops stationed in such a challenging terrain. Our reporter Alfie Barry accompanied the commander joint force on the store and files in this report. This is how one infantry battalion stationed at the border town of Bumaru welcomed the commander joint force, Major General Piki Lavahun, together with the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff, Colonel Kemosisi, in an impressive extended quarter deck in front of the war monument. Bumaru is a place where the first shot was fired on March 23, 1991, which heralded the brutal civil war in Sierra Leone. When speaking down the lane of the reefs, for the fallen heroes at the war monument. The CJF, Major General Piki Lovahon, said that as the chief commanding officer, he felt the need to empathize with his men in such a tough terrain, adding that by coming to them gives him an insight about their circumstances. I have my soldier deployed this far, and uh, as a commander, I think I, I have to empathize with my troops. It's one of the qualities of a good commander. You have to feel like your soldiers. You know, and uh, I'm aware they are far away from their families, they are far away from their friends, they are far away from civilization. So I, ca I cannot decide to be sitting in my cool and cozy chair or be cool all the time without me visiting my troops uh, far forward. So this year, Christmas, I've decided to come and spend Christmas with my colleagues, with my workmates, with my soldiers. The commander joined force, Major General P.K. Lavahun, extended his visits by paying courtesy to the residents of the town, where the town chief, Chief Kone, made a passionate plea for the construction of their road and also noted that there are a lot of young people in the town who are interested in joining the military but have been finding it difficult. One of the commanders stationed at the Ford Patrol Base at Bomau, James Francis Commander, hailed the visit by the commander joined force, but however noted the challenges faced by his platoon. Well, actually, as soldiers, you know, as a soldier, we live our life in the States of Bokutin. But however, the life here, you know, is tedious, but we cope up as soldiers, we are about to reach the normal. And we are going to see the building, you know, the up to date. 
Then the area will find himself short of water. We will not get water, we will get food. We will not eat, we will not fetch water. We can. Then, as you can see, the environment is not look so conducive. But as soon as them, we give you the truth. Full condition. Major General P.K. Lavahun promised action to be taken in a bid to address some of the accompanying challenges facing troops in the afford observation and patrol base through the construction of a base for troops. The visit was climaxed by the troops organizing an impressive parade at the Bumau Town Field. For Star TV News in Freetown, Alfie Barry reporting. Head of burial team at the Connaught Hospital Mortuary, Sine Kamara, has called on the government through the Ministry of Health and Sanitation to give more support to the mortuary department of the hospital. He made this appeal on Monday, December 28, 2020, while 1,805 bodies were given mass burial at the Kingston Cemetery. Compared by Samuel Moore, Reading our Studios, by Rebecca Samura. As we see every other year, mass burials do take place of destitute. Today again we are at Kingston Cemetery witnessing the mass burial of destitute. Among these are 15 babies, 45 adult male and 20 adult female. Could you imagine these sum up to the amount of 80 persons who are unidentified? Not as if they don't have family members, they do have. But, be but because they do not have proper documentation has led us to this point. We are today at Kington Cemetery witnessing this particular event. The government of Sierra Leone, through the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, has on Monday 28 December 2020 ordered for the mass burial of 80 unidentified destitute at the Kington Cemetery. This comes as a result of the said bodies not being able to be identified by relatives. Mr. Sine Kamara, who is the head of burial team at the Connaught Mortuary, made this disclosure that 80 destitutes are being arranged for a mass burial, of which are 15 babies, 45 male adults, and 20 female. I don't do this job since 2001, and up to now, I did volunteer myself for continuing for, for support the government, for make sure say any possible they die in the streets as destitute, I collect accounts and a mortuary. When I count on a mortuary, I count them for the people and come for identify. If nobody not come for identify them, I can take an in some cemetery together with me volunteer for come back then a mass grave. Today, we're at the 28th of December 2020, we don't come back total of 80 people to them. We're not 15 baby them, 45 adult male, and 20 adult female. People can want access to them, but they are coming for them, but they are coming at different parts of the country. Some of the dine in hospitals, some of the dine at their marketplaces, some of the dine are street as destitute. And fifty percent of them are medical legal cases, when are cases of investigation, no go just take them immediately for burial. He also added that it is as a result of people not being documented, of which they are to be used for identification. Me brother, could you imagine eighty people will bury them? Nobody no get form of identification. Nobody no get form of identification. The problem is that people they work and they work out a form of identification. Now the major problem is in this country. We no get respect for documents. So now make a call upon the National Civil Registration Authority when I NCRA. They are letting make a compulsory. If you, people they work and they skits, the people they work out with form of identification. You say self when I say a union, they no go glad for letting can put in a mass grave. If you no get no you no get ID card, you no get passport. You write your name, you write your next of king, write your phone number, put in a pocket. So in case anything can put your that's not something inevitable. He also called on MDs to pay more attention on the Connaught Mortuary, which regards their logistics in a bid to properly take care of cops. Mr. President, we are make we get financial support, we get with office, we get more ambulance system, we able to pay workers at least this job here, we not go allow. Now Ebola don't we learn a lot of lessons during the Ebola. Say the virus is multiplied by the body there. Now na coronavirus them. So we not for allow for the body there in a community for two days, three days, it decompose. We will create sickness within that community. There is excellence and president. Do you that they will beg you for God? Do you the government seek consideration inside 2021? We self can say yes, Mr. President, Mr. Talk can do you can do it for the destitute. Sorry, Alpha Kamara, the acting environmental sanitation officer of the Freetown City Council, confirmed that. None of the 80 destitute are corona victims. Instead, they are victims of accidents, untimely death, among others. We cannot feel say anyone can get Ebola or, or get a corona uh, virus. So I believe say that no go interfere with the one way they don't bear before them. They're not able to catch them people at their addresses them. Make uh, the camera in this way. The way possible. Die. So people then can just go on the radio or then go on the police, forgetting that uh, accident will occur 
or other things that they occur, untimely death they occur, you know, you just walk on the street, you fall down, you die. They you know, get with no ID card, they, the people, yeah, they, you post, you know, go to the mortuary for go find out. For Star News in Freetown, compiled by Samuel Moore and read in a studio by Rebecca Samura. As malaria is highly prevalent in the country, people living in slum communities are believed to be mostly exposed to the disease. This has caused huge burden to residents in those communities. At the Kuru Bay community in Central Freetown, our reporter Master Mai spoke to residents in that community on the prevalence of malaria. Sierra Leone with a population of 7.5 million is a high burden country in which the entire population is at risk of malaria and with pregnant women and children under 5 years being the most vulnerable. Malaria is a disease caused by a plasmodium parasite transmitted by the bites of infected mosquitoes that feeds on humans. Research shows that malaria is highly prevalent in slum areas which the impact is significant because they are on able to afford preventive measures or appropriate treatments for the disease and they lack access to treatments facilities. Residents at back of Kintom and Kobe communities explains how they are living in the community. We are in the always sick of malaria because of the environment they are living in. right now so they but you know, to take it, we can supply with tents, we hang out. Then all land, the mosquito, the ambog, we can get sickly malaria. So, first, you buy a mosquito coil, now you support me back for the maintenance. But make no more work, we have a mosquito. So, you know, we're going to get nowhere. So, they get sent to the ambog, they sent back in the support kit, all the sun. At times, they can't wear really some goat, they wear on smell up. Yeah, all that sense that they affect you. Call it business. Now what you will make government do for you, I sure right. Let them let them stop all the business there. They're not allowing to go to the inside. Because back in the days, here at 2004, 5, you are trying to be so Because when they do attend on the so because they're up and nobody are allowed to do it. But right now, the majority of people that come out don't can't say that here. The two box then are bomb, bomb day. They for go pay one time, two time for three dollars. But all let's say they never make it. But the council back at the community, then they not take that thing granted because then we take that thing. Then so then they upside, then they imat, they left for them to be. What they to be? Some of work they to be. What part of them they? Like I say, because who gave the good job? But they do not see more they affect to me. Then we go tense. For that tense they know enough. Because now the mosquito they said, you go angry tense, you know anger proper. So then get, so then bet you, they get the malaria. When I make wait man, if you don't see that, wait man, I only see that they find that malaria. Because the more as you bet and so, if you find that it's difficult, you get bomba bomba sick. But like we not take and grant it. Because we say the system is strong, but wait man, they don't need the system, they light. So that's not the issue. Still they affect you because you commit you eat you inside with the place you don't see. Any military our day the hospital and they cause malaria because it got here. We must get and come for up here. We then they go next camp, we will go inside, then go inside, and then go back to it. They cause malaria in our system. That make I say earlier, I say this got see, not good for the health. Really, really not good for the health. Make we ask for your organization then. May they help we fight against this got see. May they for we come down with this malaria. You call me and I get the upper hand for go facing government hospital. Pass I begin to prepare doctor myself. Prepare doctor myself, say, I say I will cover up small. I move ahead with my life back. You cannot get the upper hand for go facing big hospital for take good malaria treatment. Admire Samai reporting for Star TV News. Former head of the Kamajo military forces during the Lebanon civil war in the country, Augustine Atubau, who is currently serving prison sentence in Rwanda for crimes against humanity, has apologized to the people of this country for the heinous crime perpetrated against innocent civilians and failure on his path to act in stopping brutal atrocities by military forces. Here is a broadcast of his public apology to the people of Sierra Leone. Good morning, fellow Sierra Leonean. I am Augustine Atubao, serving special court, 
sentence in Rwanda. I wish to express my candid remorse for the pain and trauma you people went through during the war, which I hold myself highly responsible for failing to act. I deeply regret my action that failed to at least lessen your pain and trauma at the time you people needed it most during the war. I wish to say wholeheartedly that I am deeply sorry and I sincerely and honestly apologize to all Sierra Leonean who suffer as a result of my action and negligence. I am, deep hum I am humbly appealing to the victims and all Sierra Leoneans to find a place in their hearts to forgive me. You're still watching the national news here on Star Television Network on Channel 21 with me, Hassan Kouma. In their quest to serve humanity and help children thrive, Network for Child Support and Development Initiatives in Sierra Leone has embarked on their first community support of food and non-food items to vulnerable children in the tree planting community, Western Area District. Moses Oju Kamara has more to the story. As part of the Network for Children Support and Development Initiative Sierra Leone mandate, in aiding children in the country, the executive director of the organization, Izo Kagbo, has donated food and non-food items to vulnerable kids in the tree planting community. The gesture was done to help the less privileged enjoy the holidays like every other kid in the world. We start here at tree planting, the community where I was raised, the community where yeah, I was, I was brought up to be the person I am today. A, a community that is so vulnerable, have a lot of deprived people, young children, that are, that are more exposed to the danger of the world in different phases, in terms of education, in terms of livelihood, in terms of just the basic social amenities. So we at NCSDI, we came together to see how best we can work towards creating a level playing field or a plat giving the, these young children the platform to ensure that they, 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 they achieve their true potentials. We start at tree planting, but we are not we are not going to limit ourselves in tree planting. There are so many communities that are equally vulnerable compared to compared or even more worse than tree planting. Gloucester community, that of region, the Motim, the Mogeba, these communities are very, very much deprived very, very much vulnerable. There are children that are living in those communities that do normally sleep without nothing to eat. Imagine that. So we would try our best. We would try to stretch as far as we can with the support of those that are watching me now with their little words of courage, their way to stretch in hands financially, materially, in whatever way they can support us. Maya Makagbo is a mother whose kid benefited from the donation and hence thanked the organization for the initiative. We don't have a plan or two now we have it. So most of you don't, you don't really short, small body for me. So Mr. Mr. we tell and thank you, that God bless them. We have a William Cobra and a wall, so we tell them to put thank you. They will not have a good kind of stranger. We tell them to put thank you back. We're glad for this to come. So let God make this year we continue and let God uh, provide for me, sir. Let God make it continue to come for that. We tell them to put up a thank you. Let God guide and put it on a okay place. So we tell them to put thank you. Kariatu Munu, one of the 40 children that benefited from the donation while speaking to this medium, described this Christmas as the best she has had. I want to tell her, Boku Boku, thank you for this gift yasu, because this is a wonderful gift. I gladly for this gift yasu, this I don't ever get at it. Then you don't can give me fine gifts for the Christmas day. I want to tell her, Boku Boku, thank you for this gift yasu. I, Uncle, I tell you thank you for this gift. Yeah. May God bless you. May God give you more. May God provide for you. Okay, thank you. 
Reporting for Star News, I am Moses Ojukamara. From that news item, that's all we have time for in our national news here on Star Television Network on Channel 21 with me, Hassan Kouma. Thanks for watching and we'll stay with us for the very best. <laughs>